So what's going on? I hope you're having a good day. Today is a very exciting video for you all, as today we're going to be discussing Black Ops 4 Zombies. Some weird stuff going on and some really exciting stuff as well with things coming very, very soon. How do I know this? Well, Treyarch, Avenge Sevenfold and a few other Instagram accounts have been tweeting weird images of puzzle pieces, all with the same hashtag mad as a hatter. Now some of you might be confused on what these puzzle pieces are for, what it's going to be and whilst I don't have the complete puzzle pieces image for you this is what I have so far and as you can tell it is forming a really awesome artwork poster of the Zombies Map 9 which is going to feature the new Avenged Sevenfold song Mad Hatter. This could even be the official artwork for the song itself which is really exciting that they're incorporating zombies so much into it and this means we are going to be getting a brand new zombie trailer very soon to showcase this song. How do we know? Well, there's a few reasons. The first reason being that Avenged Sevenfold had an interview very recently with Kerrang! magazine, and there they spoke in depth about this new Call of Duty Black Ops 4 song that they've written. Within that, one of the questions being there will be a new video too, what's that going to look like? And they said that they'll be using game footage to present the song. Further down the line, they are working on some cool things with Trail to enhance the Black Ops 4 for experience. What exactly that is, we do not know, but combining this artwork and that information, we're going to be getting a music video from the map 9, which is really cool. And the second reason why we know this is last week, a video was leaked from the GameStop Managers Expo, where Treyarch showed an exclusive gameplay video of Black Ops 4 Zombies to those in attendance there. Of course, recordings of any kind are prohibited, and of course, someone filmed it and leaked it on the internet, but Activision very swiftly removed all available links for it. And usually when a leak happens like that, where a trailer gets shown earlier than what was shown and people have recorded bootleg versions, it's not soon before long that Activision and Treyarch released the official versions. This happened with the giant three years ago at Comic-Con, where the intro was only for those attending, but lots of leaked versions appeared online. And so they were like, you know what, let's just give the people the original version. That's exactly what's happening here. But for those who are fans of Avengers Sevenfold like myself, you'll be excited that this song is part of a four song EP that they are releasing in October. They said that this song is dark and brooding and they wanted to capture a different feeling than the straight ahead zombie killer track. These songs are good places for us to experiment with our sound and I'll put this in the category of dark alternative. Now when asking how did the song come about, was it written with zombies in mind from Call of Duty or is it an off cut from the stage or is there a different story behind it? And he says he done a Twitter takeover where a fan asked him about making music for Black Ops 4. The team at developing the game, Treyarch, saw it and asked them to participate. So they went into the studio and saw what they were working on and they only had a month to get them a finished product because of their European tour. So they wrote what we thought would be a departure for not only fans but for Treyarch as well. When asked if they've actually played the game ahead of its October release, they said they've been playing the game in the studio since January, which is crazy. They've been lucky enough to be close with a lot of the guys over at Treyarch and they've been kind enough to let them play and rant about things to them and they said the Battle Royale version is a, a massive achievement and they can't wait for people to get to play the new installment. Regardless if they work on the game or not, they always root for Treyarch to put out a kick-ass experience. And what's awesome is on top of this, Game Informer have also mentioned that they have exclusive Zombies coverage that they're going to be starting soon and I feel like once this poster gets revealed, they're going to start talking about about some details that they've seen of this trailer and perhaps of actual gameplay itself and they mentioned last week that they've seen so much and they already talk about so much that they can't go into detail on it just yet so I'm sure whatever they have is aligning with plans that Trial and Activision have to release more zombies info and more trailers. You'll be shocked to realize that there's just under a month to go until the game comes out. The Blackout beta is going strong, I'm loving it, I'm sure most of you guys are loving it as well and now that the Blackout beta is going to come to a bit of a quiet end towards the start of next week, that's probably when we're going to start to see a lot of zombies information trickle in. But I'll keep you guys updated on this poster image. Once it is completed, I'll have a link down below in the description. And if there is anything of significance released, then I'll be sure to update you guys showing the image in a video. But we're going to get a trailer soon and it's going to be amazing. I cannot wait. So all you zombie fans, all you Avenged Sevenfold fans, brace yourselves. 
songs because something really awesome is on its way and I cannot wait to see this music video to see this new gameplay. We'll be covering it here on the channel so make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on if you haven't already. But thank you for watching. You're amazing. I'll catch you next time.